Hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right, my friend. You are a Muslim? Yes. Okay, you, okay you are welcome. You speak Arabic? I don't speak Arabic. I'm from Pakistan. I okay. can read and write, but I can't speak. All right. So what do you like to say to us? What is the strongest proof that Quran is from God? There are a lot of proofs. First of all, uh, Quran has challenged 1400 years back that uh, if if anyone can bring one ayah okay. similar to Quran, close to okay. Quran, okay, but no one could do that. Okay, that that's alone good. itself is a big okay. Let us, let us stop here. What if I show you an ant? She made Quran. Sorry? What if I show you that ants, they made Quran? Ants made Quran? Yes. What is the proof of that? Uh, read, uh, uh, look at the screen with me. Mm -hmm. Chapter 27, verse number 18. Read the verse. And uh, it for you on the are you sharing no, something on Skype? I will share it now. No, in, the, in, the, in YouTube. You can mute your YouTube. Okay. Mute YouTube, please. So we don't have double voice. Okay, I've muted. Okay. Read for me chapter 27, or you can open from your side, no problem. 27, 18. 27, 18. Okay, let me open this, give me a minute. Surya Namal. Yeah, even the chapter is called the chapter of the ants. So here we go. The ants made the chapter. Read for me. Who's talking there? Allah or the ant? Till when they came up to the valley of ants and the ant said, mm. Oh, you ant, enter your dwelling so that Suleiman and his host would not definitely crush you. Mm. They are not aware. Mm. You said okay, to me, nobody can make Quran. Here we go. This is the ant. Is that the ant words no. or Allah words? No, you got it wrong. It is Allah who is describing what ants have said about No, it. no, it's the ant who said. Who is the yeah, one who says, ant oh ye ant? But this is, see, if the incident happens and mm. if someone is narrating, okay. then that doesn't mean that this particular text is directly coming from that person. Allah so, is the narrator so did of the, an did the incident ant say that, that did, did the ant say those words or Allah is fabricating words? No, and said it, but Allah is okay. But this is Quran now. But this is Quran. But this is Quran. Can yeah. you make Can you make it like it? Can you say what the ant said again? Can I challenge you to say what the ant said? Can you make like what the ant said? Sorry, I didn't get you. Well, the ant she said that all oh, ye ants get into your habitation, lest Suleiman and his host crush you. Okay, without knowing mm -hmm. it. Can you make something like it? I challenge you yeah you can no see the the challenge of quran is mm. to the mankind about making a verse see I'll, I'll give a simple example if there is an incident happening somewhere say in sri lanka okay mm. Mm. and that incident in that incident someone is talking about something but the way it is represented in quranic text with all those uh, uh, wordings and everything that is what is the beauty of quran but, uh, but my friend, you are the one who said to me that nobody can make Quran like the Quran when the Quran is copying what other people say. So the Quran is a book of nar narrating what people say. So this is not exactly. the... What? Okay. So the Quran is not... The, who is the author of this sentence now? Who is Allah the author is of this? Author of who the is the author? Words? No, he is not. No. The one no. who said that... The one who said that thing is the, is the author. If I quote Shakespeare, doesn't make me the author of Shakespeare book. I'm quoting Shakespeare, correct? Yes. Okay. Allah he is quoting who? The ant speaking. Okay. So the one who said that is the ant. This is Quran. So Allah is borrowing Quran from the ants. No, he's narrating a uh, incident, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, I can now. I because can tell you. I no, As long I am quoting, as long I'm quoting word by word, it's not narrating no more because I'm saying the ant said, Suleiman said. And the bird he said, and then he came back. The whole chapter is not even Allah talking. And he, uh, no, okay, see, it's, it's, and obviously, and doesn't speak Arabic, right? They have their own signals. What, in what which language they, they speak? They what about. what the language of the ants? They have the signals. 
Okay, this is a good this is a good question then. The ants have a signal. So how Allah He translated the signal into this? Yeah, obviously Allah is Khadir, He knows everything. Okay, He's let me ask you. Did, did your prophet receive Quran in Arabic or receive it as a signal? He received in Arabic. Okay, let us go to the hadith then. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at the screen screen and uh, you know read with me okay it says here that you're a prophet he used to receive inspiration as a sound of a bell I I still see let uh, Surya Namal Aya on it's going screen. to come to you maybe it would take a few seconds <clears throat> do you see it not yet hmm. they ask him how does the Wahi inspiration come to you? Read it for us. Go ahead. Still, I'm seeing uh, Surya Namal. You highlighted, O oh, ants, get into your habitation. Mm. Are you referring to this? No. We are we are posting now the hadith in the screen. Fresh your YouTube. Maybe you need to fresh. Okay. Let me refresh it. Yeah, I can see. Okay. Aisha reported. How does the Wahi inspiration come to you. He said, at times it comes to me like a ringing bell, ringing of a bell and at, and that is more severe for me. And when it, when it is over, I retain that. Okay. What I have received in the form of Wahi. Mm. And at that time, an angel in the form of human beings comes to, okay, come to okay. me and- So I asked you, yeah. I asked you the, how the, how the uh, aunt she spoke, you said she gives signal, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now Muhammad receiving sound of a bell. How the bell become Arabic? See, if you if you you need to understand something, the way human body works, right? There are different ways. Even when we are talking, that means that talk is not directly understood by uh, your brain. It is translated into some electric pulses. No right? problem. So, but but he receives he receives inspiration as a sound of a bell. Ringing yeah. of a bell, it's a sound, and he did not receive it in Arabic. So, Muhammad, he communicates with people. He is a, at the end of the day, he's a human like me and you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we when what we understand when when the angel Jabreed he came to Muhammad, he said to him, Iqra, he did not give him a, a ring of a bell, correct? Yeah, it was, it was okay. in Arabic. And the Quran says, and the Quran says, we never send the messenger except to speak in the tongue of his own people, correct? Yes, okay. So Allah, He never sent the messenger unless He is from the people speaking the tongue of the people, so they might understand. So the language have to come to them, have to come in the language of the people. Correct? Yes. Okay. Is the sound of a bell is the language of the Arab? But but at the same time, if you read the last sentence, it says that Angel Jibril came in the form of human beings and Who he care? speak to him. Who cares? No. It says he receive it. Yeah, this is how we speak to him. He speak to him in a form of a bell. Revelation come to me like ringing of a bell. He's speaking to him. How? He make a bell sound. And as long as the Quran says, Allah will never send the revelation except in the tongue of the people. That means the people of Muhammad at that time, they have a language is called the language of the bell. Jungle bells, jungle bells. They are celebrating how, Christmas how all the time. Is that huh? How authentic is that hadith? It is the Aif hadith. So is that a problem? Now, if if it is a daif, then obviously I'll, I have a problem with it. But if it is sahih and it has a good chain of narration, hmm. yeah, then it is true. So yeah, you sure. Now what we would do? You don't accept it? If it is if it is sahih, then I hmm. have no other option but to accept it. Okay, and if you accept it, what that will do? But in the same hadith, it clearly mentioned that the wahi at times it used to come as a ringing bell. It mm. is more like indication, and at times it used to come through an angel in the form of human being. What's the problem so what? with that? So what? We know that this angel he come to him in the form of a human being. Even it come in the in the form of a friend of Muhammad. He used to spend the night with him. His name is Dahil Kalbi, which is weird. I mean, why the angel coming in the form of a of a of a guy who lived next door, and he is the most handsome man in the city. So now we have two of them. But this is not our topic for now. As long as he received the sound of a bell, and then 
we need to ask ourselves how and why Allah has given him a sound of a bill Quran why not in Arabic no, to be frank, uh, CP, this is the first time I'm hearing about this hadith. What I heard, I heard about this ringing bell. It mm. was uh, more like an indication. I was told that it was more like an indication that well, he is coming and then the way he used to come in Arabic. No, so there's no, worry, no worry it says that. This is this is a false. Yeah, I'm, I'm a logical And here person. he says, and here it says, Qala Abu Isa hadha hadithun hasanun sahih. And you said you can read, right? Yes. Okay, it says, Qala Abu Isa hadha hadithun Hasanun Sahih. It is Hasan and Sahih. Both. And this so, is from uh, Sahih Muslim? Uh, no, this okay. is uh, uh, Jamia al Turmudi. Okay. Yeah. Part of Sihazi. In, in the same time, in the same time, I will go with you and let us talk about the Quran that nobody can make Quran like this Quran. So, are you saying to me that somebody telling me that there's a guy, his name is Suleiman? And this Suleiman, Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. He understand mm -hmm. the language of the ants. Yes. How he taught him the language of the birds, but he understand the language of the ants. Uh, what do you mean? I didn't get you. Sorry. The Quran says, chapter 27, verse number 16. Mm -hmm. Solomon was David higher. He said, O oh, ye people, we have been taught the speech of the birds. So who who told what Allah told him? He told him the speech of the birds, mm -hmm. and then two verses after he understand the language of the ants. Yeah, it is it is a blessing from Allah. He what do you mean blessing? He, he said what he what he learned. He said I am being taught the language of the birds. What Allah taught him, the language of the birds. So if you learn yeah. the language of the chicken and the turkey, you don't go and speak to the ants. So what's, what's the problem? I'm not able to get the My friend, problem. I went to school to study German. I finished the yes. school. I'm speaking Chinese. So what do you mean with the problem? This guy, he went to school. Allah, he taught him okay. to, okay. to, to learn you. the language of the birds, the bird, chicken. Bah, 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 bah. This is how you understand. Ants, they don't even talk. So how the same chapter, just two verses before it, uh, he, uh, the guy himself saying, okay, when I've been taught the language of the birds, who taught him? Obviously Allah, correct? No, here maybe the words that has been translated here in Arabic, it might re refer to a word that is more like a common to non non human being. Maybe no, it says a tire. A tire is bird. Even your translation says birds. Tire is bird. This is what tire mean. Tara yatiru fahwa tayar. This is why we in Arabic we say tayara. Tayara mean airplane. So we've been taught the language of the birds, and then the guy he go and he speak to the cow. How that work? Forget about this one. I will let it go. Read with me carefully. Mm -hmm. So the man have an army of a genies and a human and birds. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. How big is the army of Suleiman? I have no idea. Three hundred five thousand three thousand five hundred miles. Mm -hmm. Twenty five. <laughs> it's divided to three parts. Uh, 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 th a third is a is a genie, the other third is a bird, the other third is a human. All of them they sit in the corner of his roof, according to your prophet teaching. But we will let that story goes. Let us continue. When he arrived to the value of the ant, the ant she said, "Hide otherwise, Suleiman will 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 crush you." What is the point of this story here? What is that? Yeah, that makes no sense. Make no sense. And you know, you, you, you are the one who said to me, you sound like a, a gentleman, you know, I, I respect that in you. Uh, you said to me, the Quran challenge you want to make. This is, this is a story even for kids will laugh at it. This is good for a cartoon. We have to be honest, this is a cartoon. What does this have to do with God? In the same time, so the man, he smiled at her speech, but you are the one who said to me, the ant, they have a signal, right? Mm -hmm. The ant, actually, they communicate either by by chemical or by vibration, correct? Yes. Okay. So what speech mean? Did Allah choose the wrong word? 
No, signal, see, from, from you need to understand something here. When, when this Quran verse was revealed, or in fact, the whole Quran was revealed, this was revealed to uh, people of Arab or uh, whatever those tribes were, right? And they, they were more like uneducated people. So Allah wanted to explain them in a layman term. That is where he has actually used, he might have used a word called speech. If he used a signal at that time, obviously, they didn't know about all those things, right? So, so now we know about those things. What does that mean? Hold on, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. You see, you, you, you Muslim, you say that Allah, he predicted things in the future. We discover this and we discover this. Suddenly now, Allah, he's speaking to them because you didn't know. First of all, nobody heard. This is a story you can go right now and search in Google. You will find the book. It's called The Legion of the Jews. This is the Jews. They tell their kids about Suleiman, the glory of Suleiman. He have a ring. He controlled the world. Uh, you know, he have a magical ring. He put a genie in the bowl. Uh, he was walking in the valley of the ant. Then he put an ant in his hand, and the ant she spoke to him. So you know, this is from the Jewish stories. This is this is a, this is fairy tales. How those fairy tales appear in the book of Muhammad? Okay, uh, let, let me ask you, CP. There okay. are so many things in Quran, right? Mm. We, which is giving greater me meaning to humanity. Why why do we need to go and cherry pick something which is a little bit ambiguous and uh, which is not clear? Maybe there is some context behind that at that time which is not clearly explained. Even if you look at uh, the translations of Quran, that mm. was not written at the tafasir, whatever tafasir we have now, it was not written at the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Mm. So it was always uh, already translated after maybe 200 plus years. Okay. So they might not have captured the actual context in which this particular surah was uh, nuzul. Uh, it was like a, the reason why this was revealed. Okay, let's focus on the Quran then. Forget about tafsir. Then he checked the birds. He found there is a bird missing. His name is Zahupu. He said, if this bird is not there, if he did not give me an excuse, I'm going to make him barbecue. Read with me. This is verse number 20, 21. And then the bird, he went and he came back. He found, he said, I found a woman. Now, in the, in the back story that the woman, she have no hair in her legs. She is very sexy and you know it. Then, uh, uh, and he found her and her people worshiping the sun beside Allah. The pe those people worship the sun beside Allah. How they heard about Allah? <laughs> anyway, continue. And then we continue here, and they are talking about bringing this woman to him. They wanna, they wanna bring this woman. So look what happened. Your God, he believe in Afrit. Do you know Afrit? Mm -hmm. What is Afrit? What is that? Sorry, Afriki. What is Afrit? Is is it an English word? No, it's not even not Arabic too. Afrit no, is an is an is an Asian creature. He's an Asian creature. He's a giant, and he is like he's a Satan and Asian at the same time, uh, or let's say he's a genie, and he can go so fast. In the blink of an eye, like before you blink your eye, he can bring you a kingdom from its place. How in the world that God, he believe in such a thing? This is legions exist long before Islam. It's a fiction. Is there is such a thing? It's called Afrit. He can bring you anything before you blink your eye. Mm, makes no sense. Make no sense. And what is the point of this Afrit? And why, why Suleiman here about Afrit? See, I'll tell you something, uh, CP, mm. like in Quran, obviously, I don't know Arabic. I try to learn Arabic to whatever extent I could. Mm. I rely on translation. I'm accepting that. And when I read uh, Quran, mm. there are a lot of things that were confusing, which were not meaning, making any sense. Then I leave it to Allah saying maybe there was a context based on which it was revealed. So I always try to look at positive things that are coming. It's about showing mercy to people, giving charity. But my friend, what does have to do with this? You see, God. hold on. Everybody, you know, even cult leaders, there is uh, even between Christians, there is people who claim to be following Jesus, but they are fraud. 
They say give a charity, donate to us, take you know, take their money, right? You know that, right? This is exist everywhere in every religion. So Muhammad is no different. Muhammad he says, I will not meet with you unless you pay me. If you want to see, he made even a verse about it. If you want to meet the Prophet, you have to pay him in advance for private consultation. And then what kind of a prophet are you? Did you pay me anything to talk to no. me? Okay. No. Uh, you know, do you think I don't need money? Do you think really I don't need money? All of us need money, right? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm sitting here for many hours every day for free. What? And I'm not a prophet. I'm not a priest. I'm not a bishop. I'm, I don't claim even to be a good guy. All right. I'm a guy who carry his gun with him wherever he go. I'm not claiming to be good. So now. Why you do not need to pay me to talk to me, but you have to take to talk in order to talk to Muhammad, you have to spend something. And Muhammad, he claimed that this is charity. Why Jesus don't want you to spend something to meet him, to talk to him? Why we have to pay? I will give you another example. You said to me, let, let I me focus, I focus in the charity. charity. No, forget, forget about this one. This one is not a big deal. What is the business of Allah? To say any woman she can offer herself to the prophet so the prophet he can sleep with her what is that for muhammad already he have many wives correct mm -hmm. why he allah he need to make a verse saying any believing women she is welcome to offer herself to the prophet so he can sleep with her not to marry her it says yes thank you to effort excuse my language any believing women, what does that have to do with God? I mean, the guy is already a prophet. The guy already have many wives. The guy already have many slaves to sleep with. Why he need his God to write a verse saying, and any believing women, she offer herself to the prophet so he can sleep with her. What does this have to do with God? Be honest Why with me. Why translating that as sleep? It is... It because is coming from the root word nikah, which means no, marry. No, no, nikah does not mean marry, and I can prove it to you in two seconds. Here we go. If a person he divorced his wife three times, <laughs> what the women she have to do in order to go back to her husband, the new husband? Do you know? I know, I know what you're referring to. Hmm. But, to what uh, she have to do? Tell me what she have to do. Is it enough to marry him or she have to excuse is it, is my language? Is it mentioning Quran? Yes, it's mentioning the Quran. You see, here we go. And you, you, you know how to read Arabic. It says, فَإِن طَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدِ بعد حَتَّى تَنْكَحَ زَوْجًا غَيْرَهُ She already, now she married a new husband, but she have to do what? She have to do tankah to the, uh, the new husband. Not only to marry the husband, she have to do tankah. He is a zawjan already. Tankah zawjan. He is a husband. So now she marry a husband, but she cannot go back unless she have sex with the guy. Is that correct? I've heard about this halala that is being followed here in India and Pakistan, but I I heard I asked this about Mufti because it made really no sense to me. In fact, it was disgusting, and I disgusting. asked uh, my Mufti, and he said this is not from Quran. This is something like a culture or a practice that has been profited what, not in from Pakistan, Quran. This is Quran. India. What? Not from Quran. This is Quran. This is, not, we are, come on. This is chapter two, verse number 30. The same chapter of the, of the Hindu, the cow chapter. What is the verse? Let me write it down. Chapter two, chapter. verse number 230. Chapter two, Bukhara, 230. The, the Hindu chapter. Sorry? The Hindu chapter. It's Surah Bukhara, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that that is I I don't accept that. That's 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 injustice to the woman. Not only injustice. It's, this is this is it stupid. Is I mean, men who did something wrong, that doesn't mean that the wife has to suffer. Not only that, this is this is this is uh, this is the most filthy thing ever you can imagine. Women they go now they find to have to have a find a new guy to marry him, but it's not enough. They have to sleep with him. Actually, here we go. We have a hadith here in front of you. I can put it for you. We are a this woman. Is, you know, this is the this is something not being uh, how would I say preferred. This is something to restrain people from get giving divorce on the tip of the tongue. 
my friend. This, who cares? Muhammad, he made this rule, make it easy to divorce. No, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. It is. This is something which is considered as not a good thing. That's why if you put some constraints, obviously people will refrain from doing that. So that could be the reason why this was mentioned. My friend, you don't, if you want to refrain it, make it like Jesus. Say to them, you don't divorce your wife unless she is committing adultery. Make no, it hard. you cannot do that, right? There could be some circumstances. The moment you make it as forbidden, you cannot do it even if it requires. So it has to be, it cannot be forbidden. And at the My same friend, time, can you can't you make it, can't you make it hard by many ways? As an example, if you divorce your wife, you lost half of your income, half of your money. Then people will think twice. He will go. We find a solution. He will find a, He will think a million times before he divorce her. So there's many ways. I'm not God, but we can solve it. But he make it so easy. One word, and she is divorced. And here we go. This is a story of a woman. She married from a guy. Uh, uh, she was married to a guy. His name is Rifa. Now she married a guy. His name is Abdul Rahman. But obviously his intention is to marry Abdul Rahman. But she don't want to sleep with him. You see. That's why I said to you. Zawaj is not nikah. She did. She did zawaj. She did already zawaj to Abdul Rahman. Then the guy he started beating her because she refused to sleep with him. She went to Aisha, and as you see, Aisha, she said, "I I have not seen any suffering women as much as the believer women." And this is Aisha's statement, which means Muslim women they are really having a horrible life in the time of Muhammad. This is Aisha witnessing that the most suffering women are Muslim women. Look. Her skin is greener than her clothes. Muhammad, instead of taking the side of the woman who was just beaten by her husband, he took the side of the man. And then he told her, the guy, he came and he told him that, you know, she don't want to sleep with me. Muhammad, he said, you should know that you cannot go back to Abdul Rahman to go back to Rifa unless you taste the juice, the, the intercourse, the, the, or, the orgasm. In Arabic, it says, Yadhuqu Usayla Taki. Go to the dictionary, you see Usayla mean the semen the, the orgasm so until you cannot go back to him until you taste his orgasm and he tastes your orgasm what kind of prophet he is forcing them women to be raped be, that could have been specific to abdul rahman where does he say that this no my friend this is the verse this is the verse in the quran this is exactly what happened this woman she married a new guy she thought the verse as you said the verse is says, marry a new husband. So she said to herself, okay, I will marry a new husband. And then when he tried to sleep with me, I will not let him do it. Then he divorced me. Then I go back to my husband. But the verse saying, marry and do nikah, not only marry. So, tankah zawjan ghayrahu. Until she if a new husband. This is why your prophet here saying, you cannot go back to your previous husband unless, excuse my language, unless you if the new husband <sighs> and this hadith is reported many times and this is Sahih Bukhari you can't go back to your previous husband and look at the first translation here says yeah, until consummate your your marriage where it says though it says until you taste his juice you, ch you, ch you change the translator or you know here you go down it says until you taste his sweetness and you taste his, and he tastes your sweetness still this one is a false translation because this is not sweetness this is his orgasm look all of them they are giving you taste her sweetness and she tastes his sweetness but there's no sweetness Usayla is the orgasm here. This is a different translation. Look, sweetness of intercourse. Look at this. Sweetness of intercourse. What is that? Look like the sperms of the Arab is is a, is, is a sweet. They, they eat too much sugar. What kind of a prophet he said to a woman, if your husband, the poor woman, she want to go back mostly because her husband divorced her. She have a children. She want to go back to her children, not because of the eating husband. And now she cannot go back to the previous husband unless she is being raped, literally. Because the other guy, as you see, he's beating her. And Muhammad, he told her, Aha, if you think you can go back there, no. 
you have to let the guy F you and then he divorce you and then you can go back to the previous husband. What kind of religion this religion is? No, you cannot call it as a, I see I'm accepting that it's a wrong practice, but you cannot call it as a rape because it involves the how would I say the the woman, the wife has to agree to that marriage only. No, then it happens. no. You see, the guy is beating her. The woman, she don't want to sleep with him. The women, I just showed you the hadith, my friend. The women, she don't want the guy. And she is so making the, all kind of executed. Read carefully. Not, read read carefully. Stop him from doing that? Huh? So Prophet Muhammad did not stop no, him No, no. He took the side of the man. The hadith in front of you. This is, you can open it from your side. Sahih al-Bukhari 5825. Muhammad, he took the side of the man after he did beat her. And the reason he did beat her, she didn't want to sleep with him. When she went to Muhammad, they asked her, why you are not sleeping with him? He says, ah, he cannot have sex. But obviously, this is not true. She's making excuse. She don't want to sleep with him. Muhammad, he takes side. He says, you need to know you cannot go back to your husband, previous husband, unless he tests your orgasm and you test his orgasm. But look what happened in the process. Ayesha, she said, hadith number, hadith number is 585825. I'll definitely refer and ask. Sahih al-Bukhari. And the woman, she have a skin. Her skin is a green under her clothes. Shouldn't at least Muhammad says to him, why you are beating her? Different hadith says, a man will not be questioned about why he is beating his wife. But that depends on the context. It's not like a general All is the contact is the same. Here we go. Did your prophet ask the woman why he beat you? He did not even say anything about beating her. As if nothing happened, Aisha she said, "Look at her. look at her. Her skin is greener than her clothes. It's not only just a beating; it is severe beating. Her skin is greener than her clothes." Muhammad he took the side, and actually he sent them uh, sent a, a verse saying, "The women, or the men, are in charge of women, so beat them." And this is a rape. The woman, she don't like... want to sleep. Even, even if he's the husband, if the woman, she don't want to sleep with him, why Muhammad saying to her, oh, you have to do it? The woman, she is seeking refuge, coming to the house of Muhammad, hoping that he will help her against the husband, correct? Otherwise, why she is coming there? What do you think? The husband is already beating her, right? Yeah. As I said, I need, to, I need to study. I need to refer a last Imam of my masjid, and I will. I will why definitely. We, why get, we don't call the Imam right now? Uh, no, right now it's not. Uh, he won't be available. Mm -hmm. So yeah. why not? Isn't it his job is to answer Muslims? Isn't he an Imam? No, it's 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 daytime here. It's like uh, nine nine thirty and nine fifty. That's so, perfect time to to call an Imam. He's no, an Imam. This is his job. Available in masjid. I don't have his number. So I you am, call the masjid, call Calgary. the masjid, call the masjid, let us hear him. Call the masjid because he cannot answer you, my friend. What he will say to you, the Quran says it clearly, the men are in charge of women. In which way? Do this and do this and do this. And if you fear that they will disobey you, if you fear, beat them. The guy, he did what his God saying, he did beat her. And now Muhammad is forcing the women to go back to her husband, which she don't like, obviously. And now he is going to beat her again if she refused to take off her clothes. As I said, I need to refer, I need to ask. And no problem, forget sure, about I'm it. Sure okay, Islam no problem, no problem. But let us go back, let us go back. You said to me yourself about the story of Suleiman. Nothing, does, nothing there makes sense, correct? It doesn't make sense. Okay, okay. but this is Quran. So how, what kind of God, his, his, uh, his teaching doesn't make sense. And you are the one who says to me, nobody because can make Quran like the Quran. Story, you see, you need to understand, mm. I, at least from my side, I look at Quran in two ways. There are mm. some things which is meant for uh, the whole humanity in general. Mm. That mm. That is something like a message to the whole humanity, which we need to follow. And mm. there are some contexts, there are some verses and ayah, which is related to a specific period of time mm. to prove or to provide some details about those people. So mm. I assume that this is falling in the second category. Okay, but what, uh, what uh, as an okay. example, so did Allah make a special uh, uh, verses for Muhammad, just made for him, special law? How many wives Muhammad he can have? 
but he was he he see he came to spread the message right okay. so he need to so if i come if i come to spread the message that's mean i can excuse me, me my, my friend let me complete let I, me complete. I will let you if i came to spread the message that's mean i can f excuse my language more women than others no it's not that you need to so, you you cannot look it in this way right it's, no, it's I about no i can no i can why not why why if he is a messenger and he is a muslim is he a muslim or he's not a muslim he's a muslim okay why he is a Muslim, but he don't want to follow Islam? What do you mean he didn't follow Islam? Where he didn't follow well, Islam? Well, if if a Muslim if a Muslim person have five wives, the woman number five is adultery, correct? Mm -hmm. That he, he was be, a special Muslim. He would be stoned. He would be stoned to death. He, he so was... you are saying to me, Muhammad, his specialty is to have more women and commit adultery. No, it's not. It's not about that. There is a reason why he has, as I mentioned. Why he has? Give he, me the reason. He needs to spread his message to different people. None of those women he married, he he, he you know, they, they they help him to spread the message. All of them either they are captured, or a woman he took from a from a, a guy who died before him, like uh, Osauda. Her husband died because he sent him to war. No, no, I'm, I'm talking what about, about his wives. I'm talking about his wives. I'm not talking about. What His wives already they are believers. Aisha, she is the daughter of Abu Bakr, and the other women who they are not believers. He kidnapped them anyway. What they can do? Who care about this? They are slaves already, like Safiya. So when I asked you why he have a special law, you said to me because he's a special. What is a special about him? Did Moses he's have a special? Did Moses have a Did Moses have a special law that he can sleep with more women than other Jews? Did Abraham have a special law? Did anyone? Why he is is a so so? What is a prophet? So what if he's a prophet? No, he being a, he. See, I'm not saying that Moses or Jesus, whatever it is, they had their own role for a specific period of time for specific people. But if you look at Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he's he's the last prophet. So what if he's the last prophet, the last my friend? So what, so what does that mean? So he's the last. Okay, he is the last other. prophet. He is the last prophet. He has thirteen wives. He have hundreds of his slaves. He can sleep with them. Why he made a verse and any woman she can offer herself to the prophet? What is that for? Give me a reason. You see, I'm single. So if God says, and I am a prophet, says, hey, Christian prince, any woman she offer herself to him, I say, because this poor guy, he is single. He's trying to find a wife, maybe. So his God is trying to help him. No problem. But this guy already, this guy already have 13 mother-in-law. He have hundreds of sex slaves. Why he need to not only that it says in your interpretation for the verses if the prophet eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet can have her. But see, I cannot sitting here after fourteen hundred years. I can I cannot predict. Doesn't the matter that after four hundred years, my friend. After fourteen hundred years or one year, do you respect a man? He see your wife with my respect your family. Then he want to force you to divorce your wife because he like her. Just because he's a prophet, is that what the prophet do? No. Okay. So we have to be honest. What fourteen hundred years? I mean, people, human are human. No, I'm talking about the context. You asked me why he did that. So I said, obviously, sitting here, I cannot say that. Why we cannot say that? Why? Why? I mean, the guy because already have many wives. See. What does have to do? What does have to do with Islam anyway? The guy already I'll, married. I'll tell you something. I'll give uh -huh. a simple uh, example for it. For example, if you look at a man being punished for his crime, and if you just look at someone punishing him or giving him a uh, death penalty, and mm -hmm. without knowing the context, you cannot ask questions saying, is he wrong in killing that person? Right? My friend, so my for, friend, we know the context. Understand. We know the context. The we man in front of us, his name is Muhammad. He has 13 wives. Even Ayesha, she said, Inni ara rabbuka ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see that your God, he rushed into your lost. <coughs> the God, he worked for Muhammad. Muhammad, okay. Muhammad, he had a fight with Aisha and Hafsa. Do you know that fight? I know you're referring to that incident of uh, Maria al Qiptia. Okay. Muhammad, he slept with Maria the Copt. They found him sleeping with her, but there is there is a uh, conflict there, right? Some some no problem. Uh, forget about the conflict. It is Co about for, forget uh, about the forget uh, about the conflict. Funny. Forget about forget about the conflict. I'm not going to talk about it. I want you to read for me the following verse and tell me who is the one who made this verse.
Which one? Chapter 66, verse number 5. It may be if he divorced you, that his Lord will give him instead of you wives better than you. Muslims who submit to Allah, believers obedient to Allah, turning to Allah in repentance, worshipping Allah sincerely, fasting or emigrants for the sake of Allah, previously married and virgin. Hmm. Okay. Who is the one who made this verse? Allah has made this one. What if I show you that the one who said this verse is Umar al-Khattab? Read with me. What do you mean? Omar. Omar is the one who created this verse. Muhammad, he copied it. He claimed Allah sent it to him. What Here is we the go. proof? Here we go. As you know, I don't speak without proof. You need to remember one thing, my friend. I will never say something. Never. Unless it's true. Because first, what is I have thousands of people. This is recorded. So that this belongs to? What? This verse belongs to which surah? The, uh, uh, the the verse I showed you. This is yeah. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, chapter uh, Tahrim sixty six. Okay, sixty. Okay, yeah. So if we go here, let us see the, the hadith. Let us close some pages. Here we go. Read with me. This is Sahih Bukhari. Let us go. Uh, uh, Omar saying, my Lord agreed with me in three things. By the way, they are more than ten. But this hadith here says three. I said, take the Kaaba as a place of station for prayer. Allah, he took the verse as it is. He put it there. I said, make them wear hijab. Allah, he said, he took the verse as I said. I said, may, uh, it may be Allah will divorce you. Allah, he sent the verse exactly as I have said. Read with me. My God. Uh, agreed with me in three things. First, I said, O oh, Messenger, وسلم, I wish you took the station of Abraham as a praying place. So divine inspiration came and you took the people station okay second does it say so Sorry. this verse the, the same, same as, as I had said was revealed who is the one who is the one it could be a coincidence right because he if a friend you what coincidence I mean the guy he said it first the guy he said Muhammad, he take, he put it in the Quran, he claimed that Allah told him, the same as I have said. <laughs> you, you remember you told me the Quran is made by Allah. We ask you about the ant. Here we go, he's even copying uh, uh, Al-Khattab. No, you cannot correlate this with what I said in the beginning, right? Because the way the style of Quran is different. So even if it is ref referring to a context which is being said, uh, by someone else, but the representation and the language and the no, grammar. No, it's the same different. exactly. He quote Omar. That's why I say no, the, mean, the, the, the verse same be, as does it say, my friend? Does it say? Does it say the same as I had said? The same as I had said. Yeah, the, the meaning okay. of it was same as okay. he said. Okay, no, the meaning. It says the same as I had said, not the meaning. Not the meaning. He said to him, take the Kaaba as a station. The Quran, we have the verse, take the Kaaba as a station. Who said that? Umar al-Khattab. The hijab is from Umar al-Khattab. The divorce of the wife of Muhammad, Umar al-Khattab. So what is Allah? I'll, I'll, I'll definitely refer to this. Hmm. So nobody can make Quran, and then we find Allah quoting the ant, even Shaitan. I mean, uh, 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 
uh, uh, the ant, the bird, the women, the the, uh, the jinn. There's a chapter that's called the chapter of the genie. All the chapter is the genie talking. The genies are talking. So how this is how this is the Quran of Allah, made by Allah when they are saying to me that the Quran Allah was narrating what they said. So this is not Allah talking then. Secondly, no, it is Allah who is secondly, talking, secondly, secondly have you ever have you so. ever heard have you ever heard of a stupid God? Have you ever heard of a stupid God? How do you mean by that? Okay. If Allah now if we go to Allah and we say to him, in the case of murder, Allah, what we should do? Do Allah have the ability to give us the correct law? No, it is not everything is said in Quran, right? Obviously, Prophet. No, we are talking about the Quran. We are talking about yes. the Quran. Focus with me. I'm talking about the Quran. No, is, this is what I'm saying. Obviously, Quran and its limited uh, text cannot explain about each and every judicial. No, it's explainable uh, because simply this is in the case of murder. So Allah, He gave you a law. So if you're saying to me this law cannot be explained, that's mean this law is not a law because people they need to practice it. So if we cannot understand the law, which we don't need to practice, that means this book is not written by a God, written by an idiot. Because how we can follow Allah if we cannot understand the law? So read with me, chapter 2, verse number 178. It says, O who you believe in the law of equality is prescribed for you in the case of murder. So this is a law about murder. What do you do? Free for the free, slave for the slave, women for the women. Is that Allah coming from God or this is coming from an idiot who took them too much hashish? Are you there? What does it mean? If, if, I, if I if I am a free white man and I kill a white man, I will be killed. If I am a white man, a free man, and I kill the slave, a black man, you kill my slave. <laughs> if I kill your wife, you kill my wife. What's wrong with this religion? So the foolish Muhammad, he heard that the Moses, he have a, a law, it says eye for an eye. So this, he said, this is the law of eye for eye. You kill my wife, I kill yours. But this is not the case. Because now we have two victims. If you kill my wife, I, I, you, you will be killed, not the wife. So Muhammad saying, free for the free, slave for the slave, women for the women. And you can read the interpretation. Was this is a good law or is this is a bad law? No, if I go by this text, no, this is stupidity. Okay, just to show you how stupid this God is. What do you say if I say to you, Allah, he changed his mind second But can, can you show me the explanation for this verse? Sure, here we go. This is chapter 2, verse 178. Here. Does the tafsir also support this? Sure, absolutely. The tafsir is supported with a lot of gas. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Read with me. A free man is killed for a free man and not for a slave. And a slave for a slave and a female for a female. I can't see anything on the screen. It's going to come to you. This is Tafsir al Jalalain and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Just give me a second, please. Give me a second. No problem. Sorry about that. I had to kill, take a call. Yeah. No problem. Okay, now I can see. Okay, and this is Jalale. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
But here if you see the Sunnah makes it clear that a male may be killed in retaliation for a female. The, the Sunnah, this is the Sunnah, because data, this, this verse is abrogated. <laughs> you need to understand that this verse, Allah, he put X on it later. People, they start laughing at this law. So Muhammad, as usual, because he's a fraud, he said, okay, forget about this verse. Bingo. Can you believe it? Where does he say that this is abrogated? It's abrogated. If you read the same interpretation, this verse is abrogated. This is why you Muslim don't follow this no more. Okay, so why Allah he made it? If it is wrong, if it's stupid. And then the Arab they start making fun of Muhammad. They said, look at this guy. He you know he enjoy an order from his God in the morning. He cancel it at night or second day. This is why in the Quran it says here. And as we read, chapter 2, verse 106, none of our revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. <laughs> Allah, he sent revelation, and he want to cause it to be forgotten. I thought that was, the Quran is preserved. We substitute something better or similar. This is why I call it this verse as the, the verse of the BS. Better or similar. So Allah will make you forget it because he will make a better one. Like what the heck? So Allah, he admit that his first law or first verses were stupid and now we need to fix it. And because now you might say to me, maybe it means no, it's something not about else. Fixing. See, huh? as I mentioned, right, on different situation, the, the conditions may be different. So obviously... My friend, the same prophet, the second change. day, the same prophet, the same message, the same God, the second day. Read with me. This is a chapter no, this two. this is what I'm saying. For example, if I... I'll just give an example. If I say today it's snowing outside, wear your jacket. My friend, this is the law of murder. This is the law. Doesn't mean that I'm a group. No, this is the law of murder. The law of murder is a law of murder. Guy, he killed the guy. What is the punishment for the guy? Give me the punishment. Now we know we are not questioning if he killed or not. He killed. So we confirm that he killed. Okay. What is the punishment? That punishment should not change, because simply now we know that this guy is a victim. This guy is a criminal. We don't change it second day. Then we go chapter two, verse one hundred six. We go to the tafsir. The Arabs start laughing at Muhammad for this guy. He enjoys something in the morning to his followers. 106. And he changed it second day. What, what does I mean, the Muslim I mean, what did, say? What it changed? You said to me, you said to me, you said to me, whether you, you said to me, whether is, is, is a crime is a whether you change second day the law for it. I just yeah, made a law just yesterday. Give me an example. Just no, but, this, but but it doesn't make sense, my friend. This is not an example. This is sorry. Uh, uh, um, we are uh, one o six. This is one o six. Why it's going there? No, uh, see, I, I'm 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 asking this question, right? This specific word or the verdict regarding murder. Read carefully. When the disbelievers has, has it's not been refuted by read, read. any imam it's not, or any... nobody can refute. Nobody can refute. That's why no Muslim can no, no Muslim shake there to call me. When the disbelievers began to dry, they are talking, making fun. The disbelievers start making fun of Muhammad in the matter of abrogation, saying that one day Muhammad enjoins his companions in one thing, and the next day he forbid it. It's not even next year. He told Give them in the case example. of murder, you what? Give me one example for that. I just gave you an example. And there's tons of them. The Quran witness for the, the Quran saying we are going to can we cancel and we give you something better or similar. And if it's something similar, why you want to cancel it anyway? So the, the belief this believer they start laughing at Muhammad, and this is Tafsir al -Jalali, and as you see, they say Muhammad in the morning he gave an order coming from his God. Second day he changed the order. Why Allah find himself wrong? This makes no sense. Okay, I'll ask this question also. 
I've noted down. But my friend, you keep saying to me, I will ask the question, ask question. But you are the one who said to me the Quran doesn't make sense already. No, this is what I'm saying. At, at least based on my understanding so far, it doesn't make sense. So okay, I so what? So what that will have an impact on you as a person? You just said the Quran does not make sense because we I are showing you. Me, okay, does, now, does it make sense? My, my, my friend, yes. my friend, this is the explanation. So your scar will not be a higher scar than Ibn, than the Sir Jalalain, correct? Yeah, obviously. Okay, so based in a Jalalain, who is the highest between them? We can open Al Qurtubi, we can open Ibn Kathir, we can open Al Tabari, whatever you want. This is the interpretation they will give you. So the guy who is Abdul in the mosque, he do not know what he's talking about. This guy, he have no idea. No, I'm not talking about some Imam. He's he's a uh, how would I say Mufti? I don't know. What big, I'm a what Mufti. All of them, they are the same, my friend. It's a job they get, but they they have no idea what what, what Mufti. They have to go back to this and decide be based on this. Otherwise, the Muslim would never. No, we cannot. We cannot judge something just based on the text. Obviously, he being uh, the expert in that field, he'll be able to explain me what what exactly was the context, why exactly this is like that. My friend, so why the Tafsir is an, uh, exist then? Is this guy, his name is written in the tafsir? Do he have a tafsir book? No, it is. See, this tafsir is not meant for a common person, right? We need to at least have some foundation. Okay, but he himself, he learned his religion from where? From here? From yeah. this book? Okay. So if this book gave you the answer, why you want to go to the guy? I, I don't, I'm not against no, you no. to go there. See, I'm, I'm not, you're, I'm not you're, saying, you're, for example, there are a lot of books on uh, medical surgeries and all, right? Just a normal person cannot read that book and do a, a perform a surgery. My friend, Obviously, this is not a medical surgery. If this is a, if this is a God, he cannot make it clear to you. Then he cannot make it clear to the Mufti. Because the Mufti is just a human being like you. What, what is going to make him special? Secondly, isn't it the Quran says, that the scars of Islam is the one who say we believe, not the one who knows. Nobody can explain the Quran. The Quran says that no one. And the scholars is the only one, if they, they can be called a scholar, only if they say we believe, not because they know. Read with me. This is your Quran. No one knows what the Quran means, save Allah, because it's a stupid book. Muhammad himself couldn't explain. Seeking the hiding meaning, and none knows the hiding meaning, save Allah. So they asked Muhammad, when Muhammad, you said this, what does that mean? Allah knows best, because he is a thief. He himself is not making anything, especially when it's come to something details. He do not know. So what the point of this book? Is this the book a book of guidance? No, the book in the front of you, it says no. It says this is not a book of guidance. This is a book to deceive. Read me carefully. It says part of the Quran is entirely clear. Which part? I changed the Muslim to show me a verse is clear. And then there's verses which nobody knows what they mean. And they are made to make the one who have sickness in their heart more sick. But look how, how stupid it is. Because the one who yeah, read the that's, Quran that's and the one who believe in the well, Quran, especially the concept of Khadr doesn't make sense to me. Saying that concept, that doesn't make sense. Concept of what? Khadr. You mean the, the Prophet Al Khadr? No, no. Taqdir. Ah, the Qadar, Qadar. Muqaddar, yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't make sense too. So you, you just deny Islam because this is one of the base of Islam, Al Qadar. So you are out of Islam, Islam, my friend. Already you are an ex-Muslim. Yeah, you, you said, are. You just say you just say the destiny. Sense. You just say the destiny of Islam does not make sense to you. So Islam does not make sense to you. You just conquer Islam now. You are out, and you are right. I mean, what kind of religion it says that Adam he did commit sin because Allah forced him to? What is that? How in the world? No, see, I'm not saying that it is. See, when I mention it doesn't make sense to me, at least based on my understanding or uh, to the uh, some of the people I've heard, Zakir Naik, he's, he's like a joker to me. He doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. He's just fooling the people. I accept it, but there might be a better explanation for it. Well, there's no better explanation. What is it? So, I, my friend, the explained is explained by your prophet. Who is the best to explain some, something to you? Who's the best? To explain it your prophet right prophet, so okay yeah. so let me ask you if a child he die he go where a child is an infant 
He's like two days old, six months old. Where did he die? Who said so? This is what I've been heard. Your prophet says no because of the destiny. Aisha and Muhammad they went to, to attend the funeral, and this is in Al Bukhari and this is a Muslim, etc. So this is Sahih 100%. So Aisha she said to him, Well, you know what? This person they just came from the funeral, little, little baby. Uh, you know, he will be a bird from the birds of paradise. This is what everybody will say. Very nice word from Aisha. God Messenger was invited to a funeral of a boy who belonged to Ansar. So he's a son of a Muslim family. There's no reason for him not to be there anyway. And I said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, this one is blessed. He is uh, one of the young ones in paradise, for he has done no evil. Being too young for that, he replied, it might be the otherwise. <laughs> for God, he created the, the son who goes to paradise, doing so when they were still in their father backbone, not loins, fast translation. And he created the others who go to hell, doing so when they were still in their backbone. So based on this, even a child who never commits sin, we don't know. He might go to hell because we don't know. Allah, when He created them, He decide who will go to hell, who will go to heaven. But as you know, my friend, a child who commit no sin, as you say it, and you agreed with me, right? He shall go to heaven, yes. correct? Okay. Yes. So why this guy will go to hell? Don't you and me we agree that hell is for the one who did bad? Yes. This is a baby. I hope I did not touch something hurt you. I don't know if you have a child or something because I feel like as if you are crying or something. You're putting a lot of doubts in my mind now. So my friend, this is a, this is a, this is not from God. God is about just. Don't you agree? Oh, is, yes. So is that justice that a child he's an infant he die he did not commit any sin still he might go to hell? In fact, this is the same question I had. I I once read about the incident of Banu Khureza. It didn't made any sense to me. Everything, my friend, doesn't make sense. This religion doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that there's God who will give you women with big boobs, endless penis. Isn't it? This is obvious. This is from the devil. Imagine if I come to your home and I give you a card that says, believe in me, I am a prophet and I have a pictures of girls in, the, in this card, naked pictures. I say, I will give you a lot of those if you follow me. Isn't it obvious this is from the devil? Do we have to be really so, I mean, intelligent to know? This man is making fun of everybody. He's devilish. He don't want you even to believe that a little baby who commit no sin. He did not even reach the age to do sin. This is not only not just, this is evil. Jesus says, if you don't become like the little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father. So Jesus made it clear that the little ones, they are granted to be in the kingdom of God. The little ones. Why? Because they commit no sin. God is about justice. God, he judge us. We don't go to the judge unless we are accused of something or we did something, correct? Yeah. This person accused of what? And he did what? Did what? Nothing. So I invite you, my friend. I'm not going to say your name in public. I will leave that for you. I invite you to leave Islam right now. You are smarter than this. It's not a easy decision, right? I've been following. My friend, who said, who said, who said, my yes. friend, I, I, who, this is not really about easy or hard. It is hard for sure. I'm not saying it's easy. This is not taking a shower and that's easy. That's it. But you agreed with me that this is garbage. No, I see. I'm I'm acknowledging in Christian friends. I am a logical person. I'm educated. I hold a PhD degree. So it's not like, you know, it's some 
So you are a doctor. You are a, you are a doctor. I don't know doctor in what, but a person like who have a PhD. In, in what computer science? Yeah. Okay, I need you to come and fix my. Hadith. There, there are a lot of gray areas. <laughs> I I always had that question, but I always thought that you know this is something uh, the deficiency in my iman. That's the reason why I'm getting this question. No, to be no, frank, no. I could never digest the fact of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam marrying a six-year-old. That is that is something. This is I one of many garbage he does. This guy all his life is garbage. I was, to be frank, I was defending about that, but when my own daughter turned six years old, I looked. To be frank, I'm I'm accepting this in public. I cried when I looked and imagined that about my daughter. That is something which disgusted me. So as I mentioned, there are some gray areas about uh, the Prophet's life, Prophet Sallallahu life that is kind of difficult for me to digest. But I was always assuming that, you know, Quran is perfect. And this still I assume I'm, I'm believing and whatever doubts I have, I will get the answers to it. But but I think now, but, but I'm a logical person. If if this is not being proven or explained properly, then I am I'm I'm brave enough to accept this saying I will leave Islam if this is what you are showing it to be. Well, it's in front of you. I mean, why why are you saying you will live? You will leave. You know, you have a no, PhD, I, I my friend. To talk, I need to talk to my, my friend. My friend. My friend. Is, is it in front of you? I mean, a person have a PhD. Let us be honest, my, my friend. Come on. Is no, it really what hard I'm, for you I'm, to I'm, understand I'm this? I'm expert in a specific field, so I need to ask. What a specific field? I mean, the, the, the guys who were there in front of Muhammad, they are Imams? Aisha was Imam? Yeah, Aisha, she's a kid. Situation. So, Aisha, obviously, Aisha, the when kid. I look at someone like Muhammad Hijab or uh, uh, what is the other name, uh, Ali Dawa, they mm. are a bunch of idiots to me. They they mean nothing to me. They are the one who is destroying the name of Islam. So I, I don't follow such people. Obviously, I'll, I'll have my reference from an authentic source and I'll definitely research on that. Well, that will not change anything. There is a lot of people they are doing business. I'll come you know. back to you. I promise I'll come back with my own research. Either I will prove you wrong or I'll accept that I'm wrong. I, I, I don't feel any shame in accepting that I'm wrong if I'm wrong. No problem. I respect that on you. I will, you know, you can, I, I'm not going to push you to say that you are out of stand. But for me, I have a strong <coughs> feeling that already you are 90% out. I mean, maybe there's your foot is stuck in the jar. You know, I can help you to push it out. But as you see, this is now a this, stupid this call. These questions I always had in mind from past four years. I, I will, I'll give away one small incident. I was working in Saudi Arabia some time back and uh, I had spent so much time with Zakir Naik. He was there in Jeddah for mm -hmm. some time. In fact, I invited him to my house. He was there and there were some things I refuted on him saying your knowledge on so and so things is wrong. So I'm not a person, you know, who will, will mince the words while speaking. I'm brave enough to accept what is right is right, what is wrong is wrong. Yeah, in Ozaki Naik, he says that the word hur uh, mean a male and female, but the Quran says, you know, in Arabic, anyone who speaks Arabic, you know that there is, the letter is called noon in Nuswa, in. You add it at the word, that will make it for females. And this edit, he says that the word hur is male and female. And he says, sister, inshallah, you will have many hur too. <laughs> he is, he is, he is uh, only, only uneducated Muslim will believe in him and follow him. Any person, logical but Muslim. all of them, they are the same. And my friend, if, if Zakir Naik is the problem, we have bigger problem. Look at this idiot, Muhammad. You know, I mean, come on. You don't want to say it, but I can say it. You are shy to say it, but already in your heart, you can tell. It's, I mean, it's not that I'm shy, but it's my respect for him that this is how I've been brought up. So I don't respect the child molester. Do you respect somebody? This, do you respect somebody? He do uh, go after girls, little girls. No. Okay. So how we respect him? You see, if if I see you in the street, I will be happy to invite you to my house to have a coffee with you, drink coffee with me. But if you discover that my wife is six years old, you will run away from me. You will spit at me. Correct. That's true. Okay, so how, what respect? Respect is for people who earn respect. Respect is not guaranteed to everybody. There's people, my friend, they are lower than pigs. 
This is true. There's people lower than animals. This is true. There's a criminal. There's rabies. They are lower than a human being. They are, they are because the human being is the one who act like a human being, not the one who look like a human being. But what is the problem if I say that, you know, there are some, if I accept there are some things that is wrong uh, and that is done by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, maybe it's because of whatever it is, but still that doesn't prove that Islam is wrong. No, it, it, it proves is Islam is wrong because, because you are receiving wrong, guidance. Be punished. My friend, you are receiving guidance from a false man. The, 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 a true, the, the Lord, he said, the Messiah, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. What do you think about this sentence? No, if I'm if I'm learning from some teacher, obviously that doesn't mean that everything he teaches will be right. No, no, no. So, my friend, the Lord said, "From their fruits, you shall know them." What do you think about the sentence? You know me from my fruit, right? Not from my speech. I can speak good to you. Yeah. Right. There's there's many people they speak good, they cheat, they lie. They do everything, I'm correct? Right now. Okay. So speaking good doesn't make you good. Claiming to be good doesn't make you good, but your fruit is 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 the judge. The fruit of Muhammad is ugly. What more fruit? I mean, name one thing Muhammad did is not wrong. He tortured a man for telling him about his money. The guy he owned the money. Okay. He, he, you know, the, the the guy he forced Abu Bakr to give him his his do, his daughter. The guy he kidnapped women from their husbands. The man he made it lawful to rape women who they are already married. The man he allowed theft. The man he uh, ordered muta. What about muta? What do you think about muta? That is disgusting thing. A woman she can rent herself to a man for a day or two or two hours. What kind of a prophet this prophet but is? But that isn't that abrogated. This is he see. I mean, he was a stupid or what? I mean, since when adultery and fornication need to be abrogated? So you allowed it to, to be, is it is it forbidden already from the time of Moses? Correct? No, he, he if I remember it correctly, there was a situation where Sahaba was in in at uh, the time of war. They no, my friend, of, my friend, my friend, if it's a time of the war, Muhammad, he died in this war. If this is the reason, this is, this is, this is a, this is a fabrication because until now, Muslims, they never have stopped have war. Name for me, one Muslim country is not in war. You are from Pakistan, you have a war from India. Does that mean you do muta? You say no, it's abrogated. So, always there was no, war. No, this war is different than the other. It is the same, it the is the same. Secondly, there is no war because the man, a man, he came. He said to Muhammad, uh, uh, can we do this? He said, this is not a war. He go a woman. A war, they go kidnap women from their husband. They do not need women. They bring women with them. When you are in war, you are going to war. And what when war do? They bring Malakat al the slaves. So they, they are not short of women. Those are people who they are walking in the street. And then they see a woman. And they say to her, do you like to sleep with me? How much? What do you have? He say, well, I have this. And they exchange the service. Is that correct? But if you see the last sentence, Ali made it clear that Prophet ﷺ said the muta marriage has been cancelled. My friend, what kind of a God? Secondly, secondly, the God he allowed, Muhammad, he cancelled it. Read with me carefully, just to prove to you that when they said to you this about war, it's a lie. They were asking him to be, that, my friend, uh, they asked him, they asked him, they, they, they thought maybe they can do what the Christians do, like the monks. They don't they don't get married they don't have sex look what it read with me we used to participate in the in, in the holy battle uh, led by allah messenger this is about what this is a war here right okay and then he says and we have nothing with us we don't have a wife this is the hate they are, they are going to mention to you and they said to him shall we uh, uh, get ourselves castrated which means we don't do sex he forbid us and then he allow us to marry women with temporarily contract. This is the Muslim translation, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. How you marry and you are in war? Have you ever heard of somebody riding a horse when he is in war and now he marry a woman and he is in the horse? No. Obviously, 
but they, all the time they are in war. To marry a no, woman. It's talking about the, if you read this clearly, it says this was during the time of battles. My friend, in the time of battle, you have no time for 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 marriage. You have no time for women, and you are in riding the horse. This is not obviously. They are not in the horse. They are not in war. They are asking no, a woman. They are in war. That okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let me ask you. Else. Let me ask you. Does the Quran says you take malakat al yamin? You take your your right hand possess in the war. Muslims can take the women slaves. Correct. Yes. Okay. So if they are in war, they have women. They are not short of women. But here no, we are here talking. He's about, talking about a situation when they had no one with them. Before the attack. Okay. Let us say for the sake of argument. So they are not in war yet. So why I'm going to rent a woman? Can't I hold myself? So yeah, we allow we, we allow women and men. They are Muslims. He is renting a Muslim woman. So we allow a Muslim woman to do jihad by taking off her panty. Oh, this is a mujahid. Tomorrow he will go to war. Can you take off your panty? He will give you ten dollars. That's a valid thing because I travel to different places in the world for one month or two months. That doesn't mean that I. <sighs> My friend, the proof that this is very bad and ugly. He himself, he forbid it, Plato. Correct. Why? No, it was during the time of. No, uh, no. Omar, Omar, Muhammad war started. never stopped. Muhammad war never stopped until he died. Muhammad, in the last time of his life, he went to Tabuk to attack the Roman. So his war never stopped from the first day to the last day. So how he forbid it? Nothing changed. War is war. But people, they start laughing at him. People, they start saying, look at this idiot. He is allowing people to do practice prostitution. And not only that, let me show you a surprise before we, you know, before we finish for today, in case you don't want to see. Don't you know that the, your God, Allah, he allow prostitution? But I'll, I'll ask you one question. If, as you're saying, Prophet Muhammad was so bad, why is he being respected by all who? over the world? Not just by Muslims, but non-Muslims. Nobody, non -Muslims re nobody respecting him. That, that's a lie. They respect terrorists only. Until if, now. If until I, now. I, I, until I, I, now, my friend. My until now. Heart. Who respect him? Nobody. We are the Arab. We laugh at him. That, that every single correct. Arab. Every my, my friend, my friend. Do you believe in the Quran or not? Do you believe in the Quran or not? Yeah. Okay. The Arab in the time of Muhammad, did they respect him or laugh at him? They respected him some somewhere, obviously, with evil mind. They were not a fun single of. person respected him. That is not true. Here we go. All those verses because in the they Quran used to saying, call him Sadiq al Amin. No, they don't call him. This is a lie. They never called him Sadiq al Amin. This is the Muslim stories. The, the, the Arab in front of you, they said to him, This is nothing but a fairy tale. Chapter 6, verse number 25. Chapter 8, verse number 31. Chapter 16, verse 24. Chapter 23, verse number 83. Chapter 25, 5. Chapter 27, 68. 46, 17. 68, uh, 15. 83, 13. All of those, they are saying to him one thing. What you are saying to us is stupid. Not only that, they said to him, if we want to create something like this, like the Quran, we can, but this is stupid. Read chapter 8, verse number 31. They accuse him to be crazy. They accuse him to be a, 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 a mental. They accuse him to be a thief. So when they say to you, they respected him. So why they fought him? Why would Muhammad he die the same day more than 80% of the Muslims, they left Islam. If they respect the guy, if they believe in him, because he forced them. You know, right now, he, so you, you are from Pakistan just yesterday. Let us show you the respect. Who do you not respect Muhammad? The guy, he said, is supposedly, and I'm, I believe he, he, in the line, I don't think he dared to do so. He insulted the prophet. They killed the guy and they burned him. That is disgusting. That is not what uh, but Islam this is. Teaches. But this is what your prophet used to do. Your prophet even said, if uh, even he to the Muslims because they are not coming to pray in the, in the Friday, he says, "I would love to burn those people, but because Allah forbid burn, burning the ants, whatever for Suleiman burning." So uh, uh, Ali, he burned people alive. For what? You don't agree with him in the religion, not because they are doing crime. So 
When you say to people they respected him, that is fear. Your prophet, he says, I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month's journey. One month journey. This is how respected he is. People, they fear him from a month journey. Do you see how peaceful he is? Have you ever heard of somebody who fear Jesus from a month journey? Nobody. Why do they want to fear Jesus from one month journey? You fear somebody from a one month journey because he is a criminal only. Otherwise, nobody should fear a good man who is coming to practice good things. So my friend, I have a last call to say to you. Be smart and denounce this cult. Leave this religion because your soul might be taken from you today, tonight, now. You never know. And you don't wake up tomorrow and you are following the devil Muhammad. I'll definitely think about this. Okay, I cannot force you. Well, think about it as much as you want. And you have a PhD, so I trust your intelligence. I will be waiting for you to call me some other time when we go live on air. Sure. Right, my I'll friend. And I'm, I'm not going to mention your name for your security in case you decide to leave Islam. But sure. I have an offer for you before you leave. Why we don't offer the sheikh who is going to answer you to call me and you join the conversation? What do you think? Definitely, I'll do that. Okay, I because simply, let us say, he, you said he is an, he's, a, he's, a, he's a mufti, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. He's a mufti. I will show you that he is no match to speak to me for five minutes. Is that a good deal? But it has to be in a respectful way. I will speak to him in a very, you will, you, you will be my witness, I promise you. Just, just tell me, this is the guy. Just to know that this is not just an average person calling me. I'll call me, do. invite him yeah. with you, and I will speak to him way. And I even even I will not say things like you know, like about Muhammad. I will just keep it very nice. And you will see. Yeah, it has answer. to be a knowledgeable debate, not like using bad words or anything. My friend, Both I from... always use knowledgeable. I don't use bad words. You know, I just express. I am being honest. When you say, you know, Muhammad for me is a fraud. You know, Jesus, he said, either you say yeah yeah or nay nay. So, we as a Christian, we cannot say nice things about an evil man because that will make us leave in Christianity then. So, he want to debate me. He need to understand that this is a Christian person who refused Islam. He refused Muhammad to be a prophet. So, for me, Muhammad is a fraud. Otherwise, why he is calling me, right? Yeah. No, okay. that is perfectly okay. If you are if okay. you are saying something bad about some person, if you have reasons... Yeah, that is so, not counted. The same as, as I did with you. Did I did I insult you? Did I say anything wrong to you? No. Okay. So I am, you know, if I am speaking to you in a such a way, why I will speak to him in a different way? Okay. And especially he is coming with you. So and already I know that you are a nice person who is searching for the truth. And regardless, you you leave Islam or you stay, this is your business. For me, I do my 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 part. It's up to you, my friend. You know. Sure. Uh, for me, he, the, the Lord, so. He taught us to teach the truth, and the truth will set you free. So we pray, we pray for this gentleman, that the Lord will open his eyes. We pray for the Messiah to make his heart soften, to see the truth. We pray that the Messiah will guide him. Not a Christian prince. prince Christian prince cannot guide anyone. I am not here. I'm not the one who will guide you. The Lord is your guide, my friend. So we pray to the Lord that the Lord will open your heart, your eyes. And I am here just to share with you information which you do not know just to make As your way said, easy i'm a logical person and if i'm proven wrong i have no regret or shame in accepting that i'm wrong and no if problem. it is proven right what you're saying then i promise you as a man that i will leave islam well trust me you will not find anything i said to you is that true let's see all right take care my friend thank you, thank thank you. you. thanks for your time you're